What's up, Ducks? Man, it's my first time performing here. Yeah, there's no stage here, so, you know, the, the line between, you know, performer and scary person ranting, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a strange, it's a strange line without a stage, you know? Uh, but that's not going to be the people that know who I am. I'm going to go do a little biographical. I'm best known for my three uh, appearances on the Jerry Springer Show. I was at one time with my band, The Spokes, for Shock Rock, with the Mentors and Gloria, and twice I was the boyfriend of the prostitute in My Pimp Won't Let Me Go, and Honey, I'm a Call Girl. <laughs> I'm not going to say my mom believed in my show business choices. She was like, Scott, what do you want to go on Jerry Springer show for? I was like, 50 bucks. <laughs> Who's the big disappointment now? <laughs> Not this guy, no. So, like, you know, the, uh, people ask me, so, Scott, how'd you get on the Jerry Springer show? So, I'd like to say it's talent, dedication, and uh, hard work. That's what I'd like to say. But the truth is, Marilyn Manson dropped out. <laughs> and and I, it was on the phone with me. It's like, uh, Scott, you know, my career the way it is, you know, they were just they were going up there and said, I don't have to prostitute myself to get on trash TV. He said, I don't have to prostitute myself to get on trash TV. I get to. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'm not exactly like BFS with, with Marilyn Manson, but you know, we, I, I do know him, and, and, and we did share one thing. Um, uh, my girlfriend sucked his dick. <laughs> and later on, I ate his pussy. I ate your pussy. <laughs> so it's kind of like... I suck Marilyn Manson's dick. <laughs> and when people find out about that, they're like, Scott, what does Marilyn Manson's dick taste like? <laughs> Waffles. <laughs> hey, you, like, you like it that over there, Chris? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, the day without waffles, yeah. So I got you some poems and start, some stories and stuff, and I got a new friend over here. A gorgeous girl. It doesn't seem to really perform. She's just sitting there. They're sucking in the talent over here. Oh, what was your name again, girl? Hiding. Hiding. Nice to see you again, <laughs> Hiding. She introduced herself as Tits. That was nice. <laughs> and uh, that's what you get for not playing along. And, but she's so beautiful. I, I don't even feel like doing my regular like jokes and stuff. I just want to go over here. And do some love poetry for you. Can I do some love poetry for you? Okay. More accurately, haikus in my favorite sexual position. Okay. Nothing says loving like a brutal Dutch oven. Blanket <laughs> Auschwitz. Blumpkin's fun way to make toilet dirty. Two different ways. Blumpkin's much more fun when she cleans the toilet. First, while naked. The Cleveland steamer. I shit on my lover's chest. Smells like victory. The Dirty Sanchez, a trip to Mexico with poop covered dick. Come on, girl. The Dirty Sanchez, everyone's Picasso with poop covered dick. The Dirty Sanchez, my poop dick says you need an awesome mustache. Dead prostitute, not so warm and fresh, but is a bargain. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't know what we, I haven't put up a form for a while. Anybody got a request? Anything you want? Anybody want to hear? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, yeah, you're laughing. You're laughing. I, I know. I should. I should really raise the tongue because, like, I have people tell me, "Just you're doing all this disgusting stuff. You really shouldn't talk about sex and all this dirty stuff. You should talk about love and love of different kinds of people." Kitty <laughs> chitty. <laughs> I know, yeah. Dead, dead. <laughs> Zombie hooker pimp? Zombie Cold <laughs> holes, got your cold holes, zombie hooker pimp. <laughs> Drag your feet down the concrete and get me in my brain, zombie hooker pimp. Let us put a dead hooker in your trunk. Now an attractive race. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
ready. You gotta be ready for the apocalypse, man. We gotta be ready. So anyways, I do all this disgusting stuff, and everyone said, well, you know, you ought to really do something to enliven people and talk about love and, and different kinds of people. And, uh, and I wrote this poem. Eighth day of Saturnalia, I sat on my throne, the king of all Sabaoths. Sex club I did not did own. I was splashing and splashing the hot tub's great joy when the king of all Sabaoths heard a very small voice. As king, I stopped splashing and pulled from my sphincter a weird shaped sex toy, a tentacle fofflector. As king, I stopped splashing and pulled there. If a small midget were crying for help. I'll help you fill holes with spoons here and there, but I looked and I looked and there's no midget. Where? Just a pile of bukkake. Asians jizzed in the air. I say, said the king, but I've never heard tell of a pile of bukkake that's able to yell. You know what I think? And I'm not very dumb. I think someone's under that large pile of cum. Some sort of uh, midget. Of a very small size, a kind of much too small for my snake of one eyes. But I'll just have to fuck her, because after all, a cunt is a cunt, no matter how small. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm going to end on something. What's that, cancer? All right, but, you know, it's like, it, it just depends on, on, if people say, well, you know, it's the stuff, stuff you discuss is not funny. It's not fucking funny. So, like, I took it as a challenge. So I'm, I, I did some uh, some jokes on the dark side and to prove that you can, depends on how you um, you tell them. So, ma'am, uh, knock, knock. Who's that? Who's that? Cancer! <laughs> Why did the uh, chicken cross the road? Cancer! Cancer! Why did Lance Armstrong's balls cross the road? You think it was cancer, but it was actually steroids. I'm King Spoiler. Good night. <laughs>